Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us today. Our topic today is the MaxLite flat panel technology. So much has changed. The product evolves so quickly, which is somewhat inherent to LED technology, that we felt strongly that uh, we had to do a little bit of a commercial today and, and tell you about the new features. It's all to aid you in your sales. So uh, without any further delay, let's get started talking about the new features, the higher efficiencies, and the lower costs. The main upgrade is going from an edge lit, which we'll continue to offer as long as sales support that, to a direct lit flat panel. The bottom line on that is about a 20% efficiency gain. A quick example of that, a 2x2 two two edge lit panel of about 2700 lumens and 60 watts is about 60 lumens per watt, where the direct lit, I'm sorry, is about 45 lumens per watt. The edge lit 2700 lumens at 60 watts is about 45 lumens per watt, where the direct lit, the same 2700, is only 45 watts and, and 60 lumens per watt, so a significant gain in efficiency and many other benefits that we can uh, share with you today. So because the technology had evolved so quickly, frankly speaking, the support for you reps, and I see that there are many, if not all of our representatives are online today, along with uh, many distributors, that the sales materials and uh, more importantly, the support materials, installation manuals and the like, were not easily obtainable. We've taken care of all of that. If you have not noticed, maxlight.com under products, LED, bulbs and fixtures, you will find all of our instruction manuals and uh, cut sheets. We are also now doing lighting layouts for all of your needs. So whether it be the Generation 1 or the Generation 2, we have all the support materials for the features and options that we have available. Speaking of options, let's let's do a run through. The first one listed here is MRI, and totally coincidentally, I talked to a gentleman today who's installing six in an MRI room. He had some questions about the installation and couldn't believe how easy it actually was. You just hook up the AC and, and that's it. A note about it, a 26-foot connection between the panel itself and the uh, AC input and control system. And that comes right out of the box, all pre-wired and ready to go. Quick note about pendant mount. Many of you have been asking about the pendant mount option. Uh, we are uh, planning to release a pendant mount option for the 1x4, 2x2, and 2x4 in the very near future. So look for that information through your MaxLight Minute and through our website. We'll have that very soon. The surface mount, I think, most of you know that the surface mount are now in stock, at least for the 2x2s. The surface mount basically allows the flat panel, 1x4, 2x2, 2x4, to be mounted to a wall or to a ceiling. And the fixture actually mounts into the frame so that it becomes an integral one-piece system. The IR remote, uh, which is the default settings for these flat panels, as you know, the flat panels can be controlled by this IR remote as well as a 0 to 10 volt dimmer, DMX 512 uh, building controls, but right out of the box it's set for IR remote. If you wanted to use, say, a, a, a wall dimmer, it's a simple dip switch setting change that's clearly marked on the panel and in the enclosed instruction sheets. So the IR remote is included, one per fixture. Zero to 10 volt dimming. Just a little bit about that, folks. Uh, when you go to your local distributor to buy that zero to 10 volt dimmer, often they will tell you that you need the optional power supply for the max light indoor LED products, the power supply is built in. You do not need to buy that optional power supply. Don fine line, the spacer bracket, basically this is, a, for those who don't know, an architectural T-bar ceiling system that has a very narrow track. We basically have the accessories so that the flat panel is centered simply and is held in place safely. So uh, that's, that's an option that we offer now. The Kelvin colors, nothing new there, still 3,500 and 5,000K. But I do want to tease you and tell you that we are working on a 4,000K that's coming very soon that will meet both the Energy Star and the DLC. So that's very exciting. 
emergency battery backup. This is an integral standalone unit in 2x2, two 2x4, two, two and possibly 1x4, although we've had no requirements for that so far. This is not a standalone option that can be added to a fixture later, but this is a fixture that has the integral battery backup system built in. The remote driver system, I think it's basically, I'm sure it's basically the same as the MRI, where the whole remote, I'm sorry, the whole driver and control system is wired with a 26-foot cord and can be remotely installed. There are many applications where there's such a, a low clearance where the fixtures are installed that even a two-inch driver pack gets in the way and interferes, so the remote driver can be used there. The difference between the remote driver and the MRI, when you open the box, they look exactly the same, but the MRI, of course, is made with non-ferrous materials. And then the finish. Basically, to share with you all, frankly, we have the aluminum frame finish now. We have had some calls for a white finish. We are considering right now switching to a white finish as a standard. Any feedback you have on that, please send to info at maxlight.com and put on in the subject line uh, flat panel finish, and those will be forwarded to product group. We are looking to change to a white as a standard finish, and today, as you know, in those applications where it's required, we can talk to you about custom finishes. So LED flat panel features and benefits. You know, at these days, most of us, all of us, I think, are very aware of the benefits of LEDs, but l l let's go through it. Immediate reduction of power consumption is one of the main ways to get return on investment using LEDs through lower utility bills, maintenance, and so on. The next point, I think, is by far the biggest and most important point, easily dimmable using occupancy, daylight sensors, and so on. Look, uh, the key here is that LEDs are very easily controllable, and those controls are the key to a quick ROI. This should be bold and flaming. It's, 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 it's such an important point. Additionally, you know, LEDs run cooler, so it has an impact on the uh, environmental controls. They're instant on, no flicker, there's, the, there's no buzzing, the old fluorescent ballasts. Uh, they're very, very environmentally friendly in that, you know, uh, besides the obvious uh, using less electricity puts less carbon dioxide emissions into the environment, but there are no heavy metals, no toxic materials that are in the LEDs, such as mercury and lead that we're always concerned with. I think the, the, the maintenance points are obvious. These flat panels are 50 to 100,000 hour life expectancy. You know, that helps in recycling lamps. You know, here on the East Coast, to recycle a fluorescent lamp can cost upwards of a, of a quarter a foot. In the West Coast, I've heard as much as a dollar a foot, so that's very expensive, and those rules are getting more strict. Uh, not to mention the ballast replacement, and there's still millions of magnetic ballasts out there that, you know, over time are going to be turned over due to the T12 limitations going forward and other DOE initiatives. So, you know, LED is making more and more sense. But of all these bullets, Blake, can I ask you to go back to the last slide for one second? Of, of all these bullets, the most important one that, that you need to walk away with is the easily dimmable using occupancy and daylight sensors. And it's more than just dimmable, but it's overall controls. And, and we'll spend more time on that. But now let, let's, let's get over to the light level side.